Yo, what up, YouTube, YouTube? I hope everyone's having a great day. It's your boy, PagerBrand97, coming at you with another Honest Wax review. On today's sesh, we have some more of the Punch Extracts Tier 4. We have the Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb is a cross between Cherry Punch and Dosi Bomb. I know Dosi Doe is a really great strain, especially for relaxation heavy on the Indica side. Great for sleep medication. Um, definitely assuming this is going to be a hybrid more on the Indica side. I'm not too sure that, about the Cherry Punch. Uh, but hopefully, you know, um, you know, the Cherry Punch reminds me of the Banana Punch. The Banana Punch is a great hybrid and that's more leaning on the Sativa from what I recall. And hopefully, you know, this is just a nice, good middle ground. I'm really hoping. Let's go ahead and figure it out. Let's go ahead and read the information on the box and then we'll just dive right into talking its terps. This was manufactured and packaged in January 3rd of this year. It is now April. So this has been chilling for about three months. There's a lot of other products that have a much smaller rest period on the shelf. Um, the supply and demand on this strain potentially is not as good as the other tier fours, but this is the first time I've seen this strain, so I decided to try it. They have a THC level of 65.71% with a, no CBD in, in it at all. Total cannabinoids is 71.20%. Uh, let's go ahead and break this baby open. We are met with a red and brown and black and orange cover. It looks pretty cool. And uh, I will say on... On the little window, it looks really nice in terms of its color. It could be a little bit cloudy, but let's find out properly when we can see through all the way. Let's open this baby up. It does remind me of some punch terps. And when I say punch, not like punch extracts, more like the strain of like the banana punch and like cherry punch is here too. I haven't had cherry punch myself, but I have had banana punch. I've had strawberry banana punch and Reminds me of that punch. It smells really good. It looks really nice too. It's a little cloudy, a little hazy, but I mean, the color still looks really nice. Looks pretty glossy. Let's go ahead and pack a dab and try it. This is extremely stiff wax. Pushing through it, moving very slowly. It's taking a lot of force just to make that little dent. Pretty sure this might go flying off, fully break it apart, unless I continue going with like the pressure I'm going, just slowly stretching it out. And uh, our dab is that's in, in packing you know i thought that shit was gonna go flying it didn't but yeah this smells pretty fruit punchy it smells really good actually it's not it's not the strongest when i say it smells really good i like the small smell that i smell it smells good it'd be a lot better if that shit was more vibrant but each their own you know let's go ahead and try this though i appreciate you so much taking the time to watch my videos always and uh, i appreciate your support greatly yo thank you cheers Ooh, that was a good one, yo. I feel like probably my dome being massaged. Head's been pushed up a little bit. That's some nice stuff. Let's go ahead and get into Radiant. The appearance, not like transparently clear. It's like hazy. You can't even see through it. Everything that looks through it looks like extremely blurry, glary. Kind of like, um, kind of like the glass on a church, uh, the mosaic glass. You know how like the light is extremely distorted on the other end. It, it doesn't look anything as clear everything it's spread out it's, you know it's blurry like i'm saying so that's what the fog inside of the wax kind of looks like um i will say that the color looks really nice and the glossiness of the actual wax looks pretty nice it's extremely shiny pretty stiff like like most shatter waxes that look like here it's we're gonna give it a 8 out of 10 it looks nice but it could be that it could be nicer you know and uh in terms of taste and smell when i open it you know like i said you get that that really good punch terpene smell um and that's not punch the brand, that's punch the strain. Just like banana punch, strawberry banana punch, cherry punch. Uh, it kind of resembles a nice assortment of flavors, kind of just like the Amarellos and the Forbidden Fruit strains. I didn't taste anything on the bomb side. I mean, it was nice. I wouldn't say it was bomb, but it was nice. Um, On the bomb side, it's called Cherry Bomb. So the other strain I know is Dosi Bomb, Dosi. Uh, also has a nice terp profile, but I feel like I didn't really taste any of the dosy terps in this. I felt like it was mainly the punch terps. But, you know, that being said, the smell not being that strong, but still being able to pick up on it, I want to give it an 8 out of 10. And the taste being much better, I want to give the taste a 9 out of 10. Throughout the taste, there was a small, very small aftertaste that kind of clouded the flavor a little bit at some point in the dab. Um, and I'm assuming, you know, it's a tier 4. It's not going to taste beautiful the entire way. Uh, although magical if it does, but um, 
you know, sometimes you'll get that plant matter chase. And I didn't, I didn't get a plant matter chase, but I just used it as an example. It's just like sometimes the lower grade strains, the lower grain products have some tastes that are, you know, not expected. And it is what it is. But, you know, I'm still rating it pretty high. You know, with the smell being an 8, I wanted to give the flavor a 9 out of 10. And, you know, that's pretty good. For a tier 4, that's pretty fucking good, I want to say. Got two two eights and a 9 so far. Um, potency, I do feel good. I don't feel too tired. Um, I feel like I'm going to be able to enjoy myself playing some video games, maybe edit a video. And, yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's pretty good in terms of the potency as well, even though it's a tier 4. Like, I know the tier 4 is probably scare a lot of people off. I'm only, tier, I'm only smoking tier 1. Like, nah, you can, you can smoke tier 2, tier 3, tier 4. They're all going to get you high. They're all going to get you high. If you think that they're not going to get you high, you are a capper. But, yeah, this one was pretty good. If I had to rate the potency on this one, it would also be at an 8 out of 10. This was a really nice gram of wax, especially for the price. Tier 4, Cherry Bomb, definitely recommendable. Um, it'll save you some money while getting you fucking loaded. So pretty good, pretty nice experience. Definitely Terps talking in this tier four, which is pretty fucking nice in my opinion. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to support me here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys leave a like and you know leave a comment, drop a heart emoji. I appreciate you. You know, let me know that you watched this. Uh, also connect with the link tree in my bio below. Uh, you can connect with me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I stream on Twitch, you know, pretty often, at least two times a week. Um, and that being said, you know, uh, that's all I have to say about this. You know, thank you so much again for watching this. But Patreon 97 is out. Keep on keeping on in the free world. Keep on dabbing on in the free world.